Hey guys, we're going to talk about how to install Unreal today. And uh, let's just go ahead and go to Chrome. And you can do a Google search or go directly to unrealengine.com. And that'll land you on their home page here in the top right hand corner. If you haven't already, I recommend creating an account. Go ahead and sign up. I've already done that, so I'm going to go ahead and go to download. Say download now, uh, not the publishing license, uh, but if you want, we'll go ahead and go to the creator's license. So you log in now. I'm going to go ahead and sign in with my Epic Games account, which I believe. There we go. And I'm probably going to get an, yep, a CAPTCHA. Pick the penguin. <laughs> and now I got to get a text or is it text or is it telling me oh, my email? So let me go see what that is real quick. This is how I have all my stuff set up. I'm on my phone now. There it is, two-factor sign-in code. I'm really paranoid about someone stealing my free Epic Unreal Engine license account. <laughs> there we go. We're going to get this Epic installer download here. I'm going to go throw that in the downloads folder. And then you would install this. Boom. Install the Epic Games Launcher. Let's do that. Validating the install, computing space requirements, removing files, because I already have Unreal on here. So for you guys, for you guys, I'm just gonna go ahead and install over what I'm doing. Yes, you're going to watch me do this. It's part of our job here is watching green bars crawl across the screen. And look, there's our Epic Games launcher icon. And uh, I like to go ahead and take this and put it on my start bar. Let's let Epic install updates now. Go. Let's remove that one and pin that one. And this is uh, Epic Games. Epic Games is <laughs> it's their uh, equivalent of basically like an as uh, uh, at the Apple Store. And this is where you can go to buy anything really unreal. So they have their own marketplace where you can shop for assets. We're going to go to the library and you see I actually already have 4.25.4 installed on this machine. Um, we're going to install the latest version and if you don't have anything here, no worries. You actually hit this little yellow plus, install a new version of the Unreal Engine, and when you hit that button, it's going to automatically ghost a, the newest version of Unreal in here for you. And then now we have this set current, and then we can install that. Yep, that's where I want to install it. And then we're going to let that load. You're going to be patient with me here more green bars except in this case it's a different color oh man okay maybe I will pause it <laughs> 
Ooh, yeah, let's pause it. And we're still going. 10 gigs to go. Uh, this is my job. 58%. I think I wanted to take this time to fill you in on some of my favorite pastimes while I'm watching Loading Wars. This is probably my absolute favorite. I do this all the time. I like to drag boxes around things like this. I like to highlight. I like to move my icons sometimes. Uh, but really number one favorite pastime on Windows is definitely drawing boxes. In fact, I really think Windows could get to the point where they do lasso selects. Man, that'd be really fun. I'd start drawing circles. Yep. Almost there, yay! Now this doesn't make sense to me. Why would we get to 100%? And then the little bar here doesn't go all the way up to the top. It's very misleading. And now we're just waiting for an ambiguous installing word. Hmm. Hey, verifying. 99% Hey, it's doing something. This is cleaning up <laughs> ah. Cleaning cleaning All right now it's installed you see we have two versions here we can run either version, but uh We made this our current and So and we also got this new icon over here if I hover over it, it actually does give you a separate icon for the 4.26. And so I'm going to go ahead and pin this to my start bar so I can get back to it later. And uh, from then on, you can actually launch Unreal from this icon. <laughs> you see I have two here to hover over that one. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, but I can actually right click and unpin the Epic Games Launcher from the start bar and now that I'm done with this I can close that and I actually just have my unreal icon here that I'm gonna go ahead and launch and we want it to be able to communicate on our own private networks so allow access uh, this is an older project I'm not gonna load that I'm uh, what I'm actually gonna do maybe more That's interesting. Back. Oh, this has changed. I see. I see. Let's say games. Next. And I'm going to load a blank document. I don't want any of this other stuff because these are basically just presets for scenes. Uh, kind of set up for whatever you're kind of particularly doing. They kind of might set cameras up, for example, for first person uh, for a flying game. Maybe they set up a particular... Uh, view angle, uh, rolling game, so interesting stuff here. I'm going to hit next, loading a blank project uh, with no starter content. I don't want anything in there. And yeah, 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 yeah. I kind of want ray tracing. We're going to go pretty here. And then let's go ahead and set our project name. So for me, um, folder. It's interesting. There's the browse. It's so small. I'm gonna save this on my de in my dev folder, and I would basically say Unreal, and then I would create maybe a new project in here and call it. I don't know. Um, call it presentation or uh, yeah let's call it presentation master and then in that folder I'm gonna say select folder and I'm gonna say this project name here I'm gonna paste my presentation master it says it can't contain a space so I'm gonna get rid of that put a underscore I'm going to say create project. And now we just created a brand new 
uh, you can think of it like a full game. It's not it's not really a file, it's not really a single file like you would imagine like a Photoshop document or a Max file. This is more like a world, and so you create multiple worlds or multiple levels, if you will, inside of this presentation master. We're just going to create one level, and it would be uh, level one <laughs> inside of the presentation master world or game. And I think because this is the first time it's launching, it's taking a moment to initialize. More loading. Goodness. I think I've been loading since 650. And so here we are. It looks like we are compiling shaders and it says new plugins are available. You know what? I'm curious. I'm a curious guy. So let's go ahead and uh, see what it's talking about here. Manage plugins. Ooh, ooh, ooh. palette Wow I've never seen this window before it looks like we have this kind of new plug-in manager if you will and it looks like there's a lot of stuff in here it looks like there's stuff already loaded most of it's like there's a lot of it in here that's already loaded Okay, well I was just taking a look and let's go ahead and save our first project, save current as, and this is that new map I was talking about, uh, kind of, you can think of it like a level, and in the content folder here this is kind of like your uh, this is the presentation master folder structure so really that con it would be nice if that content said like something along the lines of presentation master so people could understand that that's where they are I get a lot of students who are confused about that but I'm gonna hit new folder and you can call this maps I find that a little too generic I prefer to call it levels or something like that and then under here new map call this presentation master and then I'm going to save and we have our file saved and the whole project saved and just to be sure I'm going to say save all and that's for how to thanks for watching guys that's how you install Unreal latest version hope that helps peace out